Bank Reconciliation The business receives a bank statement from the bank or it can just print it online. The accountant compares the bank statement with the transactions that are recorded in the cash account. After comparing the bank statement with the cash account, the accountant discovered that there is a difference between the balance shown in the bank statement and the cash account shown in the business books. This is due to few entries in the bank statement that are not found in the cash account and few entries in the cash account that are not found in the bank statement. Let's illustrate some common differences. Let's start with Electronic Fund Transfer or EFT. EFT appears on the bank statement when a customer transfers or deposits money electronically to the business. The bank adds the money to the bank statement, but the business is not yet notified about the transfer, so it's not added in the cash account. Non-sufficient funds or NSF Assume that the business receives a check from a customer. The accountant adds it to the cash balance by debiting the cash account and deposits the check in the bank. The bank attempts to collect the check from the customer's account, but the balance is not sufficient. The bank deducts the amount from the business bank account and reports it as NSF check. The accountant knows this information only when the bank statement is received, and hence the cash balance in the books is not updated. Now let's see how the business deals with bank charges and interest expense. The bank usually deducts bank charges directly from the account. The business will get this information only when the bank statement is received and the accountant will have to update the books thereafter. The same thing applies to interest expenses, which is also deducted. The accountant will deduct it later during the bank reconciliation process. Interest Revenue Sometimes the bank will add interest on a savings account. The interest is added, but the business doesn't get the exact amount except with the bank statement. At this time, the accountant will add it to the cash balance. Errors Errors could be either on the bank side or the book side. Let's assume that the error is on the book side. In this case, it would be either added or deducted based on the type of the error. In this case, the error is in the book side as the check was for $57, but mistakenly recorded for $75. Outstanding checks. Here, the business has issued a check to a vendor, but the vendor hasn't cashed the check yet. The accountant has updated the books when the check was issued, but the bank hasn't deducted the amount of the check yet as it has not been cashed. Eventually, when the vendor cashes it, the bank will deduct the amount. The reconciliation entry in this case is to deduct the amount of the check from the bank's balance. Deposits in transit. Here, the business has made a deposit just before the bank generated the bank's statement. This deposit is recorded in the books, but it won't appear on the bank statement due to the check clearing process time taken by the bank. However, it will eventually appear as a deposit in the bank statement within a day or two. The reconciliation in this case is to add such an amount to the bank's balance. To summarize, the cash entries in the books are compared with the bank statement entries, and the entries that are missing or not matching in either of the records, whether the bank or the cash account, are highlighted. Thereafter, a bank reconciliation is prepared as follows. To start the bank reconciliation statement, Put the book's cash balance on one side and the bank statement balance on the other side. Then we start to do the adjustments on each side. In other words, we are trying to update each side with the information that is missing or that is not matching. So, we will add the following items to the cash balance on the book side. EFT added to the cash account as the amount has been directly received by the bank but not recorded in the books. The error results in adding $18.
This is because when the check was issued, it was recorded for $75, while it should have been $57 only. So there is an excess deduction of $18, which is now added back. Interest revenue is also added, since it was not added before to the cash account. Then we will deduct the following. Bank charges and interest expense are deducted. After noticing that the bank has deducted it, but it has not been reflected in the bank. NSF is deducted, since this amount was added to the cash account on receiving the check from the customers, assuming that the money is going to be received through the bank clearing process. However, it was not, because the customer didn't have sufficient cash balance in their bank account. On the other hand, on the bank side, we will still have to update the information as well. So we will add the deposit in transit, since the cash is already deposited in the bank and the balance is already increased, but didn't show on the bank statement yet. This will eventually come as a deposit when the new bank statement is issued, assuming that all these checks will clear. We also deducted checks that the business had issued to vendors and has not been cashed yet, but eventually will be cashed. This of course will reduce the balance as per the bank statement. By adding and subtracting the adjustments on each side, you will find that both sides balance at $12,250. At this point, reconciliation process is complete. Now let's take a look at the journal entries. It should be noted that journal entries are only required to correct what is missing in the book side and not on the bank statement. To adjust or correct the book balance, the following journal entries will have to be carried out. Cash is debited by the amount added to cash in the book side of the bank reconciliation. The EFT is collected because a customer paid 1,210, which is due. So account receivable is credit. The error of $18 was originally posted to debit side of the accounts payable. To correct this, it is credited for the same amount. The interest revenue is also credited to record it for $40. Then another entry is added to record the decrease in cash. We credit the cash for 4,600, which is the total amount of cash reduction in the book side in the bank reconciliation. Bank charges is debited by $50. Interest expense is debited by $150 and account receivable is debited by $4,400. As it was previously credited when the customer provided the check that was later returned due to non-sufficient fund or NSF.